The Houston Rockets visit the L.A. Clippers. It's kind of a double bad rest spot here. Three and four back-to-back for Houston, back-to-back for the Clippers. Although you take a look at their schedule for the Clippers, it is a back-to-back. Um, but I believe they had both of those games at home. So maybe a little bit of a lower impact spot. Either way, Clippers are big favorites here. Minus nine and a half. The total is 224. Um, you know, the Clippers have struggled a little bit. But so of the Rockets. This is kind of a tough game for me to figure out. And again, we'll go back to ski. Nothing on the side or total here for you for the show. But you've got something to say about one of my favorite names in the NBA, Alperin Shengun. I do. Um, and I'll start right there. You know, he's averaging 10 rebounds per game. His uh, rebound prop tonight is eight and a half. So I think he's he's cleared that every single game so far this season. And you look at the, the Clippers, they've allowed nine plus rebounds to opposing centers and power or, or power forwards in all six games so far this season. So I look at that and how poor they've been offensively. They're the second worst offensive rated team in the league. I think there'll be plenty of rebounds available, and there's not a lot of other guys on the Rockets who are grabbing them. So, uh, like Sangoon, over eight and a half rebounds tonight. And if I have to say anything else about this game, well, I don't have too much nice to say about the Clippers. So I'll just let Ty Lu sum it up. He said, "We're not a good, we're not a very good basketball team right now." And just looking at it, I feel two different ways. And maybe you guys can help me out. But the Clippers have lost four games in a row. I know both teams are on a back-to-back here, but they haven't won. The two wins that they had, they weren't impressive. Neither one of them were by double digits. Now they're laying nine and a half. Now, at the same time, when the Rockets lose, it's usually by a big margin. But I just, the first thing that pops in my mind is, who are the Clippers to be laying nine and a half points right now? Maybe it's a trap. Maybe, you know, they, they won a lot of Rockets money right now. But I don't know. I'm in between. I want to take the Rockets, but I just it feels trappy. So for me, best bet is Sengun over eight and a half rebounds tonight. I wonder, too, and this is kind of a funky look-ahead spot, but I think you guys will walk down the street with me here on this one. Uh, the Clippers are playing tonight against Houston, but they fly to Houston Tuesday, have the day off, and then go to play Houston on Wednesday. Now, there's a lot to do in Houston, you know, barbecue. It's a pretty big city, all sorts of good stuff like that. I hear the nightlife is pretty good. James Harden always talk about that a lot. Not exactly sure what that was, but I kind of am barking up the same tree you are, Ski, is if you want to position on this game, give me Rockets money line. Like, the Clippers are bad. They just can't seem to put it together. Kawhi looks like he's still going to be out. Um a Houston Rockets team that has been playing decent basketball. The effort is there. And again, if there was ever maybe kind of a funky look ahead, goofy spot where the Clippers kind of get snookered here, it might be a look ahead to a quick night in Houston. Chris, any thoughts for you on this game? Well, I'll say this, this is a spot eventually where, um, I, you know, I, I thought I was going to play in the Clippers here eventually. And Marcus Morris senior did call the team out, right? And he was like, Hey, we we're just assuming that we're going to win these games because of the skill we have on our team. Other teams are, are just playing with more effort. And certainly the Houston Rockets qualify as one of those teams. They're not getting blown out. You know, if I'm going to say a good thing about the Rockets, they're not getting blown out uh, with quite the same intensity like we've seen in the past. Now, again, that could be early season variants too. Some of their opponents not been, not having as high chemistry as they usually would midseason. But these Clippers are interesting, and it's the problem with resting players or kind of you know going through the season, figuring things out until you get to the playoffs. Are you going to develop enough chemistry by the time you get to games that matter? But, you know, the Clippers are probably going to go on a run at some point. It's probably going to be when they get healthier, though. I don't love this spot either. I think I'd rather take the Rockets after, hopefully, the Clippers take care of business tonight and then they do go to Houston. I think that would be a better spot to play on the Rockets, especially if that line is inflated even more. But, you know, with the injury concerns that the Clippers have, with Kawhi being out, John Wall as well, a lot of Paul George's shoulders to hold this team up offensively and then a Clippers team that's really not showing its full strength on defense either they have plenty of personnel you know on the floor now to be playing above average defense we saw that a lot for them last season and that's not coming around either but when you have those like players only meetings which apparently they had when Ty Lue was in a press conference last night or the night before um, you know usually that results in something so I kind of want to play in the Clippers but to both of yours points I, I can't trust them just yet. You know, how do we know we're going to see anything different in this game? We don't. So I'm, I'm off of it. It's a totally different attitude for this Clippers team. Coming into last year, you know, everybody kind of knew that Kawhi was going to be out most of the year. We thought they could be 
kind of interesting towards the la- later in the season. But at the beginning of the year, this was a team that was the underdog, that was fighting for a lot of wins, that was frustrating yours truly with um, performances above and beyond what we expected from them. And things are a little bit different. They were the title favorite at one point you know, this season. They were the favorites to win the Western Conference at certain points. So uh, maybe they have to shake that off a little bit and get back to trying to win basketball games. But in the meantime, they've got to play the Rockets tonight. Ski likes the player prop here. Alper and Shingun, we're going to take his rebounds over eight and a half. Um.